Education Through Music is a not-for-profit organization that brings music programs into inner city schools to enhance academic development. Our mission is really to promote music as a means to motivate children so at the end of the day they'll be better readers, better mathematicians, lifelong learners and just better people. We go in and uh, with the principal analyze the resources of the school, what its situation is, what its, uh, the demographics of the school population are, what problems they may have, what successes they may have, what resources they have available to them, and then design a program for the school to implement. Very important is that we view the program as being the school's program. The principal is ultimately responsible for how it succeeds. One of the beautiful parts about education through music is the fact that they provide full-time teaching artists to come full, for the full school day who not only become part of the, the PS68 family, but they develop a warm working relationship with other teachers. They understand the goals, the vision, the mission of the school, and um, they support the academic curriculum. One more time. One. Sing it and play it. One, two, three, sing and play. Remember it's in three chords. So it, instead of going one, two, three, play, it's one, two, play, right? Learning the discipline of music, the note reading, the rhythm reading, the pitch, is a way one, for students to use their higher level uh, thinking in a different way than in the other academic subjects. And for some children who are struggling with academic subjects, it's a way to teach them to focus so they do better in those academic subjects. You learn in a different way. And that's part of what we do through integration. We're still teaching them. We're teaching them about the same things that they're learning in their classroom, but it's through a different way. It's in a different avenue. For example, We've been learning a song called Mukuki Bayoni, which is from Tanzania. It's a Tanzanian pop song, actually. So we've spent some time learning about Tanzania. Where is it located? Uh, what language do they speak? What language is Mukuki Bayoni? Recently, I've been stressing geography, and um, we use maps, and all of the words that we use in classical music are Italian words. So we're using Italian words, and so we talk about Italy, and where is Italy? Italy is in Europe, and whereas Europe, Europe's a continent, and just in relation to where we are, and so all of a sudden we're using geography to talk about this piece that we're about to learn. Where are we? North America. North America. Can you point out North America for us? Thank you. Okay, so we're going to North America. Okay, where's the North America? It's over here. Europe's all the way over here, and there is a big ocean in between. I like music because I, I love to sing, and also because it keeps me calm. Well, I really think it helped a lot with their discipline because they learn how to play the instruments, but they also learn how to be patient and how to sing and get along with each other. So socially and academically, it's helped them a great deal. Most of my children do not function on the third grade academic level. And what I found that program to do was to build their confidence. They feel good about themselves. Thank you for wading through those half notes. I was really, really happy with that. One thing I like to see is when we first play the song, I'll maybe play the song for the kids. Okay, so you want to go. And they'll all sit back in their seats and say, oh, no way, I can't play that. It's too hard. Or they'll see the music on the, on the board and say, I can't play all those notes. But when, you know, two or three weeks later, we've chipped away at it slowly and they can play it. And they, sometimes they refuse to admit that they said they couldn't do it at one time or another, but they can. And, and when, they, when they realize that there's that delayed gratification, that if they just work a little bit, they can get something really neat out of it. For Black History uh, Month, we were doing a program, it was on Martin Luther King Jr. And I had given Miss um, Mitchell's class a choral reading uh, to work on and perform. And uh, from that, they had learned a lot about Dr. King. So she was asking them questions about, well, who was he? And where, where was he born? And what did he do? And the kids were responding. So after each line, we would say, 
Let's see how that sounds. So we say, Mrs. King had a baby, and then, oh, yeah, yeah. Mrs. King had a baby, oh, yeah, and the people keep on coming, but the trains are gone. I found out through music my children have been developing in all areas, emotionally, mentally, and academically. It has helped them in all those areas. And I always believe that once the child feels good about him or herself, you can get a lot done. And when they have a low self-image and feel they can't accomplish anything, you're not going to get very much. And with the music, it's giving them a greater sense of pride. And with that pride is coming, well, if I can do this, and it took me maybe four months to understand an A note, well, I'm quite capable of doing it. It's just taking me a little bit longer but I can do it, and that's what I see in my children. Their self-esteem, you know, has improved. Their attendance has improved. Um, they're happier. Uh, they really have developed an appreciation for the arts. It's obviously getting harder and harder and harder for the public schools uh, to do the job that everyone would like them to do, especially here in the New York City area. When we see the impact on a school-by-school -school basis of this program, uh, everyone at the Department of Education uh, that's aware of this, and I assume they probably all are, says, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could have this in all of our schools? It's just, it's just such a dramatic impact. Without their partnership, I don't know where we would be because a program such as this, as wonderful as, as it is, costs a lot of money to keep it going. And because of the genius, I would say, and how they operate and how they give support at the same time, it's just been phenomenal that we've been able to go. We're going now, we'll be going into our eighth year with the, um, the partnership with Education Through Music. Our greatest impact is that we are not only a music program, but we have supported academic school reform. We pay attention to the leadership component. We pay attention to the teachers. We pay attention to quality instruction. We care about the community and the parents. And our focus is the child. And at the end of the day, our greatest impact is that we are truly not an outside community-based organization with the school, but a true partnership.